welcome myself Giridhar Jain, Assistant Professor in Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, Walchan Institute of Technology, Solapur. Now today I am going to deliver a lecture on uh, noise margin of uh, CMOS inverter. Now learning outcomes of the session are, at the end of the session, students will be able to define and determine noise margin of the CMOS inverter. Now contents of the session are uh, noise margin of CMOS inverter, definition, determination of uh, noise margin from DC characteristics of CMOS inverter, uh, effect of transistor parameters on uh, noise margin. So, what is the noise margin? So, for understanding the noise margin, we have taken the example of the cascading of two CMOS inverters. So, this is one inverter and this is a second inverter. So, output of uh, inverter 1 is connected to the input of uh, inverter 2 as shown in the figure and this noise margin, it determines the allowable noise at the input gate so that the output is not affected. So, here it is a CMOS inverter. So, input if input is 0 oblique 1, then output should be 1 oblique 0. So, whenever input is 0 or 1, so how much noise can be added along with the input signal so that the output uh, is true or output is uh, as expected. So, noise margin is closely related to the input output transfer function that is DC characteristics. So, it is derived by driving the two inverters connected in series. So, when two inverters are connected in series as shown, the output characteristics of the first inverter are taken into consideration and the input characteristics of the second inverter are taken into consideration for determining noise margin. Now, this input and output characteristics of inverter means uh, input and output voltage levels. We are interested in voltage level. So, input is logic 1 and logic 0. So, low level input, high level input and similarly as far as output characteristics means the high level output and the low level output. So, these are uh, determined. So, now uh, this is the cascading of two inverters. So, this is inverter 1 and this is inverter 2. Now, output characteristics means the output voltage levels for low and high are taken into account while as the input high and the input low for the uh, second inverter is taken into account. So, th this is this diagram. So, first diagram. So, this shows the output voltage levels of this uh, inverter. Now, whenever output is low, it can be from 0, minimum is 0 and the maximum output is VOL. So, VOL is the maximum uh, low level output voltage. Similarly, for the high level output, so, maximum output is VDD and the minimum output uh, when the output is logic 1. So, it is a VOH, right, as shown, is, as shown here. Similarly, the input voltage levels for the second gate that is a similar CMOS inverter are shown here. So, this is VOL and this is VIL. So, VIL is the maximum low level input, maximum low level input VIL and the this is VIH, so minimum uh, high level input. Now, whenever output of the first CMOS inverter is uh, low, so this is uh, maximum output, possible is VOL and what is the maximum uh, voltage which can be accepted as a, a low. So, that is VIL. 
so difference between this fiil and the fiol is the noise margin for the uh, low level and which is shown as a nml in the diagram so noise margin for low level similarly a noise margin for the high level is the difference between uh, voh and fih as shown in the figure so this is a noise margin for the high so this is nml noise margin low this is noise margin high so this is the definition of uh, the uh, noise margin for the cmos inverter and the uh, range of the output voltage for the low level and this is high level uh, range of uh, input voltage permitted for the low level and this is for the high level now how to determine the noise margin from the dc characteristics of cmos inverter so this is the dc characteristics of cmos inverter now on to this dc characteristics you take a point at which uh, slope of the characteristic is uh, uh, minus 1 so here this is one point where slope is minus 1 and this is a one more point where slope is again minus 1 now uh, project uh, this point on the horizontal axis you will get uh, vih and project it on the vertical axis you will get uh, vol as shown in this diagram similarly uh, project this point where slope is again minus 1 on the horizontal axis you will get uh, fil and projecting this on the vertical axis you will get voh so these fil fih fol and voh are determined from this dc characteristics and by using the formula uh, which is shown here that definition that is nml is fil minus vol and nmh is voh minus vih so we can determine the noise margin from the dc characteristics like this now pause this video and uh, think on the following question what is the effect of uh, beta n by beta p on noise margin of the cmos inverter so already uh, we have discussed the effect of uh, beta n by beta p on the uh, dc characteristic so here here you can see uh, whenever beta n by beta p is 1 so this is the curve when beta n by beta p is decrease so characteristic is shifted toward the left and when beta n by beta p is increase the characteristic is shifted toward the right so this is effect of beta n by beta p on the dc characteristics and now uh, let us determine the effect of this beta n by beta p that is increasing or decreasing on the uh, noise margin so whenever beta n by beta p is the one so noise margin is shown so this is a noise margin low and this is a noise margin high okay as per the uh, earlier definition now uh, let us uh, increase beta n by beta p whenever beta n by beta p is increased from 1 to 10 the dc characteristic is shifted here as shown this is beta n by beta p is equal to 10 so that that is the outermost curve and according to that uh, this is a noise margin for the low and this is a noise margin for the Uh, high level so you will see that by increasing beta n by beta p a low level noise margin is increase and the high level noise margin is uh, decrease so increasing uh, beta n by beta p ratio increases low level margin and decreases the high level noise margin and vice versa that means if i decrease beta n by beta, beta p the exactly opposite thing will happen
so this is effect of beta n by beta p on the noise margin now the question arises how to control beta n by beta p so beta n and beta p uh, depends on so beta of the mosfet in general for the either it is n mos or p mos so beta is given by mu epsilon upon tox into w by n so mu epsilon are the uh, parameters uh, wl and tox are the uh, physical dimensions so in this formula uh, what is a mu mu is the mobility of channel epsilon is permittivity of the gate insulator that is sio2 layer tox is the thickness of oxide layer w is width and l is the length so this is the construction of the uh, n channel uh, construction of the mosfet so this is a substrate right so here is the drain source and this is a, a silicon dioxide layer so thickness of this is a tox this is a length of channel and this is a width of channel okay so beta is controlled by w by l and this tox and it depends on mu and epsilon which are the properties of the material used okay so in this way you can control uh, beta n by beta p by the physical geometry of the device and the properties of the material used so these are references thank you for watching the video